Joined by Davis Sanchez and TSN Overdrive host Brian Hayes. And guys, Jerry Jones's Cowboys are coming off another disappointing playoff performance, to put it mildly, after a blowout loss to the Packers in the wildcard round. Now, quarterback Dak Prescott did have a league-high 36 touchdown passes last season, but in his eight-year career with Dallas, He's only won two playoff games. Now, heading into this upcoming season, Prescott is entering the final year of his $160 million deal with Brian Hayes. Should this be Dak Prescott's last chance to win with Dallas? Yes, I believe it should. If he's going to play like that, like that game you referenced against Green Bay again in the playoffs, assuming the Cowboys get to the playoffs, we're talking about Jerry Jones here. Jerry is not a young man. He wants to win again. He needs a quarterback that can push them over the top. Prescott was horrendous in that game. I mean, he cost them. The defense was awful, too. Jordan Love, they torched that off that defense. But Prescott was throwing picks. It looked ugly. It got better in the second half. But this is not a young guy anymore, right? It feels like he's been in the league for a long time. He's been in Dallas for a long time. He's a very good regular season quarterback so is Kirk Cousins that's how I would define him Dak Kirk Cousins same mold Whoa. right I, I see it very similar Kirk in Washington they said I don't know if he can win when chase the money Minnesota I don't know if he can win now he's in Atlanta he hasn't even played a game Atlanta's obviously well, already, already taken other quarterbacks yeah. trying to usurp him down the road I like Dak a lot in the regular season I don't like him much in the playoffs if it happens again I think you cut bait on McCarthy Prescott and you restart in Dallas Wow. His last chance to be a Cowboy quarterback. I feel like this is Dallas's chance to keep him. You know that how many teams will be not going to pay Dak? Some are going to pay him. There's ahead. always desperate Absolutely. teams out there. He's Absolutely. a good quarterback. Yeah, he's a great he's a good, good. Can he win, though? He, that's the question. And, and, Can and, and, he that's, win? That's a very valid question. And I, I was asked this question, or I would say this. I think Dak is the most underappreciated quarterback in the NFL. And, and here's why. You know, obviously, Dallas, a lot of media attention and, and, and eyeballs on this Cowboys team. Nobody's asked to carry the load for their team more than Dak Prescott. We're always we're all just clamoring about Josh Allen, how much Josh has to do for this Bills team to win. No one ever talks about Dak. Only one guy in last season was asked to drop back pass more than Dak Prescott. You know what that was? Sam Howell. And the reason why is because they were getting drunk every single week. But Dak is asked to do a lot. And with all those drop back passes, 36 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, and he led the NFL in what PFF calls big-time throws. So he's asked to drop back more than anybody else. He's making big-time plays over and over again. And, and Brian, I'm with you. His, his playoff performances have, have not been great. But he's the reason that this team has 10-plus wins all these years. And the, the, he's, he's the reason. He's the, the straw that stirs the drink. He's the best player on this team. And they have to have him. And they need to help him out. Uh, Jerry didn't do much help him out this offseason. See, I'm a little cautious when in football when people talk about a guy can't win a playoff game. Because when you talk about that in hockey, I'm like, yeah, the game is totally different. Absolutely in the playoffs. We're talking about the NBA. The game changes. It's not the same game from the regular season. But football doesn't change that much in one game, right? So I'm going to take the sample size of the 17 games that I saw from Dak Prescott last season over the one that went off the rails in about half a quarter against the Packers. Well, here's the thing about that analogy. The quarterback position is different from every other position, right? If you're rushing the ball, you're rushing the ball, whether it's preseason, regular season, playoffs, and I know there's more game planning. You're yeah, playing sure. better competition. Yeah. Quarterbacks, though, they are expected to bring more. They get paid more. They are going to be the driving force for every single team. So I think the quarterback position goes against that analogy. Where if you're Connor McDavid, you're playing 25 sure. minutes, right? If you're LeBron, maybe you're playing 40, and maybe they're double or triple teaming you. Dak Prescott gets the ball every single snap. If he can't get the job done, you can't win in this game. In 2024, if your quarterback cannot win you big games, I don't think you can win anymore. I don't think you can ground and pound and defend your way so to a Super problem, Bowl. So is your problem in the, in the playoffs with Dak's performance, or yes. the team's not good enough? You think well, he's, I, you think he's uh, not? You saw him against Green Bay. He was terrible. Like that was awful against Green Bay. Terrible. Agree. So is is he is he a choking quarterback, or is it, is it circumstantial? It's no. on him to decide that. Right, okay. Again, and, and okay. I know that that yeah. might be unfair to him, considering how right. well he's played throughout his career. Yeah. And again, during the regular right. season, he's a really good player. And everything you said is accurate in terms of that spotlight. It's. There's yeah. nothing else like it. Sure. Being the quarterback of the Cowboys, and I think he's handled it with class. He's a really yeah. likable guy. He's a really good regular season quarterback. <laughs> but it's about the playoffs. You got an owner there that I think is unstable and probably <laughs> is thinking, we got to get cooking here. 
I'm not sure he's going to get many more chances. I'll tell you, uh, I always think there's two types of football teams, teams that have their quarterback and those that don't. And if they part <laughs> ways with Dak Prescott, yeah. went, put their arms around Trey Lance or whatever else, man, <laughs> no, 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 no. it could go a lot further the other direction. Let me add one on the other side. And by the way, no, I think we all agree and tell me if I'm wrong. The Cowboys are going to do everything they can to keep Dak Prescott. There's, there's no question. Why haven't Dak, they done that already? Though? Like, well, like, they, like they that's the, the question. The price tag is the price tag. There's no, there's no. Price it's, tag. it's only going to get it's, higher and higher yeah. though. Yeah. You're going to pay more next year. Yeah. Let's add this to it too, real fast on this on this defense. Remember, Mike Zimmer comes over as well. And here's a question that I have, and I've been as I look at this defense. Mike Zimmer, over his eight-year span in Minnesota, Mike Zimmer played more cover four or variations. Cover six is the same as cover four. So more variations of cover four than anybody else. And that's an eight-year sample size. So it's it's that's what he wants to do. And he's a secondary guy. So he's stuck on his ways, a stubborn guy, an older guy. Now, the Cowboys, three, the top three team in the last two years with Dan Quinn in man coverage. So complete opposite philosophies. And I look at Deron Bland. I look at Diggs. This is a man, it's a man coverage team, mm -hmm. but you bring in a coordinator who only plays cover four and quarters coverage. That also, can Mike Zimmer adjust? Because you want to adjust your, your scheme to fit your personnel when you have Micah Parsons. You want to play man and rush the quarterback. Let's see if he's able to do that as well. Could be some shootouts this season in <laughs> Dallas. Well, a long playoff run would go a long way for Dak Prescott because the Cowboys have not won more than two playoff games in a single postseason run since they won the Super Bowl all the way back in the 1995 season.